and and everything that you want in life has an inherent risk whether you believe it or not and especially change all right change involves risk okay and the bigger the change the bigger the risk but the world has and will ever and will forever belong to the people who are willing to take risks the world belongs to the risk takers okay the risk takers the people who are willing to lay it all out the unfortunate thing is that a lot of people don't realize that by not taking a risk, you're actually taking the biggest risk of all. As a matter of fact, you're not even taking a risk. You're signing up for a guarantee. You're signing up for a guarantee of no change. You're signing up for a guarantee of no progress. You're signing up for a guarantee of stagnation. You're signing up for a guarantee of a very, and I don't want to call it average, but an average life. Okay? All progress requires risk. You know, I saw this uh, this quote many years ago, and the quote asks, simply says, uh, you can't steal second with your foot on first. If you ever watch baseball, you understand that, that, uh, that, uh, that analogy very quickly. In order to, to, to steal second, at some point, you're going to have to put, pull your foot off first and move towards second. And there always comes a, twin, a point in time between that first and second base where you've gone too far to go back, but you're not quite there yet. The unfortunate thing with a lot of people who even venture towards their goals and their dreams, they don't do it full heartedly. They don't, they don't really commit. You know, um, I talk to you guys about commitment sometimes and, you know, commitment uh, the true, the true, the true definition of committed heart is when you abandon all other choices. The problem is a lot of people when they actually go for their second base or they go for their dreams, they go for it with a with with, with a different plan in mind, the just in case I, I fail plan. Those are the people who start trying to steal second, and then they get halfway through and they slow down because they see that the guy is throwing the ball and they might get tagged out. The best of the people who steal second base are the ones who accelerate. All right? You have to seriously commit to your goal. And when you take that risk, you have to make it worth taking. And the only way to make it worth taking is to go wholeheartedly towards your goal. You have to take the risk. The sad thing is a lot of people are always afraid to fail. They're afraid, most especially people are afraid for other people to see them fail. But when you actually take into account that anybody else who is doing anything worthwhile with their life, they're, they're not concerned about your failure. Anybody else that is doing something worthwhile with their life is more concerned with what they're doing and if they're paying that close attention to you and they're doing more than you, they're gonna be willing to help you. but only if you're willing to come in and take the risk. How long are you gonna sit on the sideline of your life and watch opportunities pass you by and not take the risk? How long are you gonna stand on first base knowing that you could have been on third right now if you only would have taken your chances to steal second? You might be rounding and coming home. How many opportunities have you seen in your life pass you by because you sat there and you thought about it and you contemplated and you prepared but you never took your foot off first because you imagined all the things that could go wrong and you weren't le you weren't led off that base by all the things that could go right the sad thing about life is a lot of times people think they have many chances And yes, you may have another chance, but sometimes you never get that chance again. The question is, are you willing to take the risk? 
And a lot of times, you know, I'll be honest with you, it's not even it's it's very rarely even a risk. You know, when you when you become proficient in in a particular thing, when you do something for long enough, when you commit to something. A lot of times when people actually venture out there, you know, it's very rarely a real risk. It's a calculated decision. And if you're smart and you've done your homework, your level of risk is very low. That's not to say you're guaranteed success. But it's, it just requires a certain level of belief in yourself. But you cannot succeed. You cannot commit. You cannot take a risk without, first of all, having to believe. And being committed to your goal. All risk requires sacrifice. All, all, all growth requires sacrifice. And that sacrifice sometimes is a sacrifice, the risk of failure. The risk of not making it. But one thing you will never be able to do is you will never be able to succeed at anything in this world unless you are willing to take risk. And if you're not, you'll be standing on first for the rest of your life, wondering what would have happened had you tried. Wondering why your life has not gotten any better. Looking at other people who have similar capabilities, similar, similar uh, 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 abilities, sometimes less, succeeding. Risk, my friends. All progress requires risk. So if you want to change your life, ask yourself, what are you willing to risk? What are you willing to sacrifice? What chances are you willing to take? Because that is the biggest determinant of whether or not you're going to be successful. Once again, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And I'm not saying you should take dumb risks. Because once again, you know, it's all about knowing your capabilities. But in knowing your capabilities, you also have the, you also have the ability to increase your capabilities. But what you cannot do is stay stagnant. Uh, Drew says, so let's define risks because there's a negative connotation associated with that word. I, I think uh, it's not so much a negative comment connotation, Drew. I think uh, it's more so a lack of understanding of the word risk, okay? I'll give you an example of somebody who is going, uh, you know, any, everybody knows what, what hang gliding is, right? Hang gliding has an inherent risk to it, okay? But you have to, you have to realize that before that person goes out hang gliding there's a couple of factors that they have to take into consideration factor number one equipment how good is your equipment is your equipment sturdy did you check your equipment do you make sure that your equipment doesn't have holes are all your straps on properly do you know how to use the equipment all those things check great okay next thing how's the weather is it too windy all right so by the time that person goes down their entire checklist of things Jumping off of that cliff to hang glide, it's not really a risk because they're skilled, the equipment is good, and the, and the conditions are also set. Once again, taking risks doesn't mean you go out there blindly. Taking risks means you take a chance on yourself. Taking risks means that you bet on yourself. All right? But at some point in time, you're going to have to lay it out. At some point in time, you're going to have to jump off of that cliff. At some point in time, you're going to have to take that chance. And the world belongs to the people who are willing to take the chance. The world belongs to the people who are willing to settle for and go for a 60-40 chance. All right? Because in business, in life... 60-40 chance of good odds. 
the great odds, even 50-50, if you truly believe in yourself, if you know you got the goods to make it happen. In worst case scenario, you can always retool and try again. I think that's the biggest mistake. That's, I think that's the biggest thing people miss. Failure is not final. All right? Speaking of stealing bases, I think the person who has stolen the most bases in baseball history was Rick, was Ricky Henderson, right? Ricky Henderson stole more bases than anyone else in the career in the in the in the lifetime lifetime of that of baseball. But guess what? Ricky Henderson's probably been thrown out in the top ten times too. Taking chance does not guarantee success. But it's the biggest precursor to it because you will never experience success unless you're willing to take a chance okay failure someone says failure is the filter that the dreamers are passed through before they become successful failure is not final if you learn from it as a matter of fact, I always tell people you want to fail and fail early. Fail as many times as you can. Okay? But as you fail, remember, fail forward. Never fail the same way twice. Always learn. Always move forward. You will find that the things that, that, that hamstringed you two years ago can't hamstring you anymore because when you failed, you learned your lesson and now you fail forward. Ricky Henderson didn't stop stealing bases the first time he was thrown out. He figured out what he did wrong. He corrected his technique. He realized, oh, I get a better jump when I start with my left foot versus my right. He learned how to watch the pitchers. He learned how to watch the, 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 uh, the catchers. He knew that when the pitcher, once the pitcher got to a certain point in their windup, right, it was a point of no return. So as opposed to waiting for him to let the ball go, once he got to that point in the windup, he could get going. Guess what? That bought him an extra 0.5 seconds. Ricky also understood that, you know, the batter that was on, on, on deck, you know, his odds of hitting the ball, where he normally hits the ball to. So when he sees that guy, he sees that pitcher, and that pitcher's winding up, and he knows that guy's on base, guess what? Now he realizes his chances of making are very high because that guy is going to make contact with that ball, and it's probably going to go further off into the right field, left field, or down the right line. So by the time he took his foot off that base, he realized that he, because of his skill, because of his ability to bet on himself, because of his ability to grow his talents, wasn't that much of a risk to the risk takers because at day's end he had to have the balls to take his foot off that base and go for it and that's what's missing from a lot of people a lot of you have the skills a lot of you know all those statistics a lot of you have gone through the checklist but you won't allow yourself to pull your foot off that base and that's what it's going to require